Hello, this is Keith with the Georgetown County School District, and today I'm going to show you how to move something to your junk folder so that it always goes there, or get something out of your junk folder to come to your regular email that may be going there and you don't want it to. So first, let's take, uh, we're in our inbox, and I'm going to go down here to our junk email. <clears throat> And let's just say that I want to take this particular email and I want it to start coming to my regular email rather than to the junk. So if I right click on it, then right here it says junk. You've got all these options. Block the sender, never block the sender, never block the sender's domain. Usually I will do either this one or not junk. And if I do this as not junk, then it will come, it'll start coming to your uh, regular email. So I'm going to go ahead with this one, junk, and I'm going to say never bought this sender's domain. And the selector has been set for your safe senders list. And okay, so now next time I get an email from Richard at burn.media, it will come to my inbox rather than to the junk mail. The same thing with a lot of the observations that maybe teachers are doing around in your district. You'll want to check the junk mail, and if you have one there, do the same kind of thing. On the inbox side, let's just say the inbox, let's just say that I have something that I do not want to come to my regular inbox, but send it to junk. Eventually, the junk email learns it. But if I'm in this one and I right click on it and go to junk, then this one, I can say block the sender or never block the sender. There's other options down here. But usually block the sender will usually take care of that. So those are two things that will help you with your mail, getting your mail, and making sure that the right things are coming to your box. Hope this helps.